Welcome back to my sixth video on functions. I'm hoping that this one's going to be a little shorter. Um, so where we left off, we had this form where we were generating enemies in somewhat random manner. You know, sometimes we paid attention to the player's level, sometimes we didn't. In our last video, we created a two-string function. And that returned a string, and it basically just told us about the enemy that we had created. So it was kind of an interesting function because it took two integers, so it had two parameters of type integer, and it returned a string. One of the things that we're going to change about this, so we're not even going to add anything to it really, we're just going to change the way that it functions. You might, the thought may have crossed your mind, that this whole idea here where we generate the message box, uh, the message box is populated by this call to the function down here. We could kind of eliminate this call. If you're thinking about what toString does, why not just have our toString function display this message directly to a text box? In other words, why does this even need to happen right here? It really doesn't. So what I'm getting at is there's no reason we couldn't do something like this. Right, and just directly show right here. So it's the same logic as we had before. Just the idea that, well, why call it if we don't have to call it? Why not just handle it down here in the function itself? So you notice one of the things I did is I deleted the word return. So now this function doesn't return anything. Well, if you've got a function that doesn't return anything, that's kind of uh, what we, we probably should call a sub procedure. And that, so rather than make this be a function, we're going to make it a sub. And if with any luck at all, this is going to turn into a sub, and it did. All right, so a sub doesn't return anything. It just does something. Just like what we're talking about right here, this little block of code, this little three lines, it uh, gets some information passed to it, and all it does is pops up a message box. It doesn't need to return anything. We've got some problems right here, and the problem is that a sub shouldn't return anything. So we need to delete this return type. And this should work. I'm getting this same warning here saying, warning, you're overriding something that's already been done, right? Two string, I didn't come up with that name. We could have picked a different name for this sub and we wouldn't get that warning, but that's okay. Um, so now we haven't really changed much. We've just eliminated this call. Well, <laughs> so this is gonna be a problem actually. We haven't called the function. I still do need to do this. I still need to call the uh, sub right here. So I'm going to make a call to the sub, and the sub's going to handle its business. Notice we don't store anything in a variable, we're just calling it. And let's see how this works. And my level is 12. I generate a message, I get a strength of 61, a speed of 14. All right, so functionally, it's the same exact thing as I did before, but instead of returning a value, I just handle all my business down here. Now, just to make this program a little more fun to work with, because it's pretty annoying to test right now, uh, I'm not. I'm going to make a design decision. I'm going to go back to my form, and I am going to add a list box. And I think you'll see where I'm going with this pretty shortly. So my list box needs a name like LSTNMEs. All right, that's all I'm going to set. And now, rather than take this little message that's happening in my two string sub. I'm just going to display that to a list box. Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. The idea being that I could generate 10 enemies and, and we could see if you know how random the values are, whether they're reasonable or whatever. So rather than message box dot show, I'm going to say something like list enemies dot items dot add, because that is the syntax for adding things to a list box. And so I'm going to show you what this does. Now we can run this thing. All right, if I'm a level 10 player, I generate an enemy. Enemy has a strength of 68, speed of 16. And now I can just keep pushing this button. You notice I don't have to keep closing that message box over and over again. And this is kind of cool, right? I think that if we're going to be creating a program that does something, this is probably a better solution. I'm going to make one more video and uh, do allow me the freedom to say one more video a couple more times. And in that last video, which I'm hoping, I'm, we're going to use a loop to generate just a bunch of uh, enemies. Because pressing this, this works, right? But let's automate the process. I'll see you in my next video.